Hello everyone, Zaid from Zed Security here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to bypass login screens on both on Windows and on OS X. Smash the like button to show us support and help the channel grow. As you know, the more likes we get, the more videos we'll make. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we upload a video, and let's go. So, to do this, all we're gonna need is a normal USB stick. I'm gonna show you how to configure it later on, but right now, let me show you how it's going to work. All we'll need to do is connect this to the computer that you want to bypass its login screen, restart the computer, boot from it, and you'll be able to log in with any password you want, or sometimes even with a blank password. So we're gonna start with the OS X computer right here because it's simpler and then we're gonna go to the Windows because I wanna show you some extra tricks that you can do with Windows. So like I said, all I need to do is connect this to the OS X computer right here. And I'm gonna zoom in the camera and we're simply going to restart the computer. Now on a Mac to access the boot options, we have to hold the options key from the keyboard. As you can see, I have three options right now. And the one I want to boot from is the third one right here, the EFI boot. This is my USB stick that I just connected. We're gonna hit enter. We're gonna press one to bypass logins for Mac OS X. And we're gonna go with zero to log in with a blank or with, with an existing account and we're gonna press any key to start this, wait for the system to start, and as you can see, I'm back to my login screen with all of my users, and they all have passwords, but notice now when I click on my own user account, I'm able to log in without entering a password. And now I can pretty much do anything that the normal user, Zaytsabi, is able to do on their computer. Pretty cool. Now let's see what we can do with a Windows computer. So I'm gonna just change the HDMI port to my Windows computer. And I'm gonna disconnect the USB stick and we're gonna connect it to the Windows computer. And again, just like we did with the OS X, we're gonna restart this computer and enter its boot options by pressing F12. Now we're gonna move the selector down to select our USB stick that we just connected using the arrows and hit enter to boot from it. And then we're gonna go for zero to bypass Windows login and zero again to use the default mode and press any key to continue. We're gonna give it some time and it should let us access any user we want without entering its password, even if secure boot is enabled and this can even be used to bypass online accounts. And now we can click on any user to access it without a password or with any password that we want. But before doing that, I wanna show you this really cool extra feature that allows us to control this computer with an elevated user using the command prompt. So all we have to do, even without logging in, simply press the shift key a number of times to activate this sticky key feature of Windows and because we booted from con boot, we're gonna get this nice command prompt. And if I do who am I, you'll see that I am running as an NT elevated user. And right now I can do anything I want on the system with high privileges. And I can even add new users, enable remote desktop and connect remotely later on. So that's really cool. Now let's close this and see if we can actually log into any user with any password or with a blank password. I'm just gonna set the password to number one. And perfect, as you can see, we're able to log in to this user account simply by typing any password we want. And now we can do whatever we want on this computer. 
So as you can see, this can be useful in so many scenarios. If you're doing a normal pen test and you got into the company and found any unattended computers, or if you booked an appointment with someone and you're talking to them and they leave their desk, but they lock their computer, then again, you can access it this way. And obviously to capitalize on this, you need to have your own back doors ready as well on a USB stick. So you can run them straight away, or you can use the command prompt like I showed you there to add an user quickly and then enable remote desktop and maybe later on connect to the computer. So it's a nice skill to have under your belt and obviously you can utilize it and use it in so many different scenarios. Now, as you know, the main thing that we did in this video is we connected a USB stick to these computers, but what's on this USB stick and how are we able to log into these computers without entering the password? So let's get technical and let me show you how to configure any USB stick so that you can use it in this manner and bypass logins on both on Windows and OS X. So I'm here on my Windows computer. And first of all, we need the program that we will flash to our USB stick or to our phone that will do all of the magic and allow us to bypass the login screens. So the program is called Conboot and you can download it from their official website, con-boot.com. You can get the Windows version, the OS X version, or the two-in-one version, which is the one that I have right now, which allows us to bypass both the Windows and the OS X login screens. And if you get the commercial license, it will allow you to bypass Secure Boot as well. Now, as you can see, this is not a free program, but I am giving away seven licenses for free. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel and fill the form in the description. Follow us on social media to see the winners. And in two weeks before I release my next video, I will pick seven winners and give them free licenses completely free. Now, if you go ahead and purchase the license, you will get an email from this website with this program right here with a link that will allow you to download this program and with your username and password that we will need later on. So once you have the program here, the next thing you need is a USB stick or a phone that we will flash this program to and we will connect it to the computers that we want to bypass logins on. Right now, I already connected my USB stick sans disk. You can see it right here. And right now it's empty. So it's fine because we're going to flash this to it and we're good to go. So I'm just going to run the wizard here. Just double click it. Going to say yes. We're going to accept the agreement and we're going to install it in this location. And right here is just giving you a warning message telling you to disconnect any USB storage devices other than the one that you want to use. That's what I have already. It's advising you to use a storage device that has a capacity of less than 32 gigabytes. And it recommends using a well-known manufacturer such as Kingston, SansDisk and so on. So that's all fine. We're going to click on OK. And as you can see, you get a really nice wizard that is very easy to use to achieve our goal. So the first two options will allow us to flash Conboot to a CD. I don't want to do this. A lot of computers don't even have CDs these days and it's hard to carry a CD around. It's much more convenient to flash it to a phone or to a USB storage device. So we're actually going to use the USB option in here, but first of all, we're going to have to put the username and the password for our license. You will get this in the same email that contains the download link for Conboot once you buy it. So I'm going to put mine right now. It's zaid at zsecurity.org and put the password. Next, we're going to select the USB device that we want to flash this to. So in my case, I want to flash it to this device, the only one that's connected, zero, the SanDisk device. We're going to keep this to the classic formatting scheme and I'm going to check this box to also bypass secure boot. This only works on the commercial license, which is a little bit more expensive. And now that we're happy with everything, I'm simply going to click on install USB stick. 
Now this is another warning, just telling you that your USB stick will be formatted and con boot will be flashed to it. So we're gonna say, yeah, that's fine. And we're just gonna give it its time to flash con boot to the selected USB stick. And perfect, as you can see, it's telling us that it's installed correctly. So now we can use this USB stick to bypass login screens on both on Windows and OS X and we'll even be able to bypass secure boot. All we have to do is connect it to the target computer, restart boot from it. Then once we get to the login screen, we're gonna put any password we want and it's gonna allow us to log in. Sometimes you'll even be able to log in with a blank password. So as you can see, it's not very hard to set up this tool. And like I said, it's a really handy tool to have under your belt and it can be used in so many scenarios. There are actually a number of ways that you can use to bypass login screens. A lot of them would require you to boot from a different operating system and manually do some work and then reboot again and access this computer. So that can take some time and therefore this tool can be very handy and very useful because all you have to do is simply connect it, boot, and then you're able to log in. So it'll save you so much time, especially that put it in mind when you're doing this, you'll probably want to do it as quick as possible because the actual user of the computer might come back at any minute. Let me know what you think of it in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the latest in cybersecurity.